How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be showing how to unlock this 93 overall Silver Slugger Nelson Cruz. I'm sure most of you have already unlocked it but I am going to be going over some tips on how I was able to complete it as well as how you are able to get this card for free. And then I've also completed this shark map so I'm going to be opening up a bunch of packs towards the end of the video. I'll go ahead and hide the face cam and after I completed the uh, turn-based missions in the shark map, it was pretty simple to kind of just simulate all the middle spaces, take over as many territories as I could. We do have this set 43 headliner card available in the marketplace. They did take out those beach ball packs as well. But in order to get this awards Nelson Cruz card, you have to complete a series of five moments. This does not take long at all. And then if you wanted to complete this online mission of tally three extra base hits with outfielders, or I guess 10 hits in general with Mariners players, you can. But I'm going to go ahead and just beat them on All-Star. I'm not going to include that gameplay. I'm just going to talk about some tips on how to complete these missions and really just any missions in this game or at least for the player programs. All of these ones are on veterans, so that certainly helps. They're very easy. I mean, I'm going to power swing with this Nelson Cruz. I'm going for a Grand Slam, and that's a kind of cool animation that he gets right there, but... The PCI is still fairly large because we're on veteran, but that is indeed a power swing. He has 89 contact. You can see the PCI shrinking as I'm swinging the bat. Now in this specific one, we need two extra base hits and six base hits in general. This first one, I did power swing. You have three games to complete this mission. And honestly, I'm trying to complete it in two. I wanna get the extra base hits out of the way in this very first game here, and then just focus on the regular base knock. So. Once again, I'm going to power swing. He has 125 contact, 114 power. The PCI is still going to be pretty big on veteran if you decide to power swing. So there we get a, uh, I don't know if that was a perfect or just early, but I'm really trying to score as many runs as I can. I know I'm player locked as Nelson Cruz. I'm trying to get as many RBIs, try, tally as many base hits in general, uh, while also trying to earn progress towards that mission. But the reason why is so that way I can get more at-bats in the actual game. So here in this situation, bottom of the seventh inning, 6-3 to three game. I know that has nothing to do with the moment. But if we go deep here, this might get us some momentum. Now it's a 7-6 to six game. We already have the extra base missions out of the way. Now we just need the base hits. And we tied the game up down to the last out. So maybe we'll get another at-bat. It's kind of unlikely, but we might have given ourselves an opportunity there. In this specific case, uh, we end up walking the game off. I didn't get a chance to get up another time. But now we only need two base hits. I got a good amount of at-bats in that last one. And honestly, could have gotten five hits if I didn't pop up to the catcher. But even though I don't need any extra base hits, I'm still going to power swing just because the PCI is so big. And I'm trying to hit the ball over the fence so that way they can't make a diving play or they can't catch it. I'm just trying to make sure I get a hit. Now, I would recommend just hitting the regular X button if you're not going for an extra base hit, but also I'm trying to get ready for the next mission, which is uh, tally two extra base hits in the same game. So I'm trying to power swing multiple times, trying to get used to that timing. The power swing timing window is a little bit different than the normal swing timing window. So I just wanted to kind of talk about some tips that help me. It is important to unlock all these player programs though because you're able to earn these award series players if you don't have mike trout you might be able to earn that voucher or at least earn some progress towards that voucher i know that with the tops now players out and we will have uh you know a pack opening with some of those cards later on in this video i know some of those cards are now able to be locked in for that mike trout voucher as well so i'm kind of curious to see how that marketplace is going to look i have no idea what it's looking like but I think that uh, depending on how the August Player of the Month program is released, those Tops Now cards could kind of fluctuate a little bit in price because people might lock them in for Trout. Then they also might lock some of those players in for uh, the August Player of the Month. I don't know if those cards are going to go up or down. It's kind of hard to tell. But in this last moment here, we just need a power swing home run. We hit the no doubter. As you can see, we've completed all the missions. I also have the card unlocked. I finished off this Nelson Cruz by beating the computer on all-star difficulty. It was pretty simple to do. I mean, the only tips I have right there is to score a few runs and then get yourself out on purpose, lay down some bunts, 
and then just beat them. So I'll go ahead and lock them in here. This will give us another two headliner cards or at least headliner packs for a potential diamond card or really just that reward from set one through 31. But let's go ahead and get into some of these packs. All right, so we have a bunch of packs here and I'm gonna kinda get through some of these Twitch drop packs and some of these Mariners packs from the program. But a lot of these are from the Conquest as well as the seventh inning program so far. I'm at about 230, 240 program stars. So let's go ahead and get right into this. We have a variety of cards to open. I'm hoping for two diamonds. I'm hoping for two diamonds. I know we have some guaranteed diamonds, but I'm talking about the ones that aren't guaranteed. Let's go ahead and uh, open up this Twitch drop pack. I got this by watching Coogs, I believe, in part of the CCL stream or, or I guess CCL league in general. A few, uh, a few Mariners packs. Let's see. Solid, solid. Couple Mitch Hanegers there. Probably gonna get a few more right now. Yep, one more, one more. All right, let's go ahead and open up the standard packs. 18 of them. I'm hoping for one diamond out of here and one diamond out of the seven ballin packs that I have. That is my plan. I am going to be going over all of the featured cards in each headliner before I open them. I am going to be pressing triangle. I forget to do that sometimes, but that's because I feel like I have no chance to get a diamond out of there. And in the last video, I pulled JT Realmuto, and there we just quick flipped DJ LeMayhew. I was hoping for an American League center fielder. We will never... Uh, we will never get George Springer again, or at least for now. We will not get uh, trolled by another American League center fielder. Wow, back-to-back -back diamonds. All right, they're helping us out. I quick flip the first one. Let's not do that for this one. Let's open it up. This is another American. Oh, okay, I was about to say American League. An award series catcher in the American League. Who is this? Matt Readers. All right. He might be going for a decent amount. That's that's pretty solid. That's just out of a standard pack. Not bad at all. I will certainly take that. You want to do your conquest maps. Uh, I was kind of uh, going over some meetings earlier today, looking over some emails, talking to some teachers and people that I work with while completing the conquest. Definitely uh, multitasking. And now we're making stubs. We're pulling diamonds right here, back to back diamonds. So we already got the two diamonds I was looking for. Quick flip one of them. Let's see. Here's a gold. Joey Votto. Not bad. That's probably a sell immediately. I don't see him going up. I have sold a few cards or at least a few gold cards that have gone up to a diamond. But I got pretty good value for some of those golds. And I didn't know if they were going to get upgraded. But there has been you know, a roster update, a couple of them. And they have updated the cards more significantly than I thought they would. I, I was not expecting this many updates or upgrades right away, especially in a shortened season, but they're making it a lot of fun, so that's pretty cool. Jorge Soler, we gotta go through these packs quickly. I don't see any diamonds left in these standard packs, but you never know, you never know. We did pull back-to-back -back diamonds, which is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever done that this year out of a standard pack anyway. Patrick Corbin might keep him. He might actually get upgraded to a diamond. They hinted at him as a uh, rising star or, I guess, something riser. I don't know exactly what they called it. But let's see. One, one last standard pack. I thought about opening up a 20 bundle, but I don't see any point to now that we just pulled two diamonds out of these 18 packs. Let's open up some ballins now. There's another gold. We are going to make a good amount of stubs. We should be up over 2 million once again. And the only reason I dropped down a little bit below 2 million was because I did put up some orders for some of those Tops Now players, or at least the ones that were fairly cheap. I'm curious to see... What the heck? Sell now for 100. Don't do that. I guess if you uh, people are quick selling all their cards and making profits, then the sell now just gets completely low... And then I guess you have to put up a thousand order in order to get that card or or put a sell now for right now. But the people that have those hundred orders up, they're making stubs. Two more. No diamonds out of these ball and packs. Wow. There's got to be one in this next one. There's got to be one right here. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. It's a Pete Alonzo who was a diamond. Man, that's not what we want. All right. Set four. 
featuring Johnny Bench. Actually, this card was going for a little bit. I did pull a Johnny Bench earlier in the year. Let's see what happens. Silver. That's exactly what I was expecting. All right, let's see what this one is. Set 10, Miguel Cabrera. I recently pulled a Miguel Cabrera. I don't think it was out of a set 10 pack, though. Nope. A couple silvers, though. Jorge Polanco, he was a gold, I'm pretty sure. Wasn't he? And then John Gray. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used that card in Showdown. And that kind of confused me. I was like, wasn't this card a gold a minute ago? Oh, man. Good thing I have another one of these because I didn't even look. I didn't even look who the featured card was. Set 16. Jason Hayward. Well, probably not going to get him, but you never know. Nope, a gold card. Another one of these guys. We need to just start quick selling them. Hook those guys up with the 100 stub orders. Set 17. I almost opened it up. Spencer Howard. There he is. It's him. National League. Starting pitcher. Absolutely not. This guy's taking a, uh, a jump throw from shortstop. Why would I think that's a pitcher? Javier Baez. Not bad at all. Another diamond. Another diamond. We didn't quick flip it. That's a dub in my book. All right. Let's quick flip the rest of these. We got a Spencer Howard bronze. I don't know if you guys saw that real quick. We got the Spencer Howard bronze. What pack did I even just open? Doesn't matter, though, because we didn't get the diamond. Set 23, Brett Saberhagen. I'm pretty sure I used this card, and he got lit up. We're not getting him back, though. That's good. 500 for a bronze. Yep, absolutely. Probably going for 1,000, but he won't be for long. I'll, I'll sell him like that. Another diamond. Let's see if this is the headliner card. I once again did not reveal it. American League? Nope. Nope. National League right fielder. Could be Cody Bellinger. He did get downgraded to an 88. Christian Yellich. I'll take that. That's, uh, that might be right about the same as Bellinger, honestly, though. I think they both dropped in price. This one's probably going for less. All right. All right. We got another diamond, though. I'll take that. All right. Classic Stadium. Yay. Okay, let's see. I already got one of these actually out of a daily from today. So I'll, I won't choose that one. I'll pick Shibe. And we're going to we're gonna list that on the marketplace. We're going to get all the stubs we possibly can. We need the rare round here. Set, set two prospect. All right, we need the rare round. Let's get it. Let's get it. I have never pulled the rare round out of one of these. And I can still say that because... Well, I guess I don't have any of these players, which is good. I'll go ahead and get the Wander Franco. That's pretty solid. Yep, we uh, we get the, the base round. All right, Sixto, welcome to the team again. Quarterfinal pack. These cards are probably really low. Yep, I have all of them as well. Um, Bo Bichette, why not? Ducks on the pond. I'm going to save that one to last. Let's open up this tops now. Oh. Okay, no wonder these cards tanked in price. Well, I still think they could go up. I thought that this was going to be the ones from... I thought it was going to be like a random choice pack from uh, a couple of the a couple of the weeks, but obviously that's not the case. All right, let's just choose one. Oh, we get to pick two of them. All right, these are the guys. These are the guys we want. All right, set one, rare round. Absolutely. I'll take Cespedes because... I already have the other guys. Even though Canelo is probably going to be the most expensive one there. I just want set space. I'll have them all. Now we need the rare round in this one. Absolutely not. No, I'm taking Todd Frazier. He'll be more expensive, maybe. Ducks on the Pond. Elite round. That is what I'm talking about. What a pack opening, man. What a pack opening. We're taking Ernie Banks. And we're calling it there. We're taking our stubs. And we're going to run. I already have Chapman, and I don't want Joe Adele, and I, I kind of wanted Ernie Banks back on the squad. Now I don't have to buy him. There we go, man. Successful pack opening and how to unlock that 93 overall silver slugger, Nelson Cruz. Thank you for watching. I'm College Lefty, and peace out.